We've got a 36 year old system. It's been exposed to the elements for 36 years, rain, sun, wind, snow, you name it. And so uh, it needs to be replaced. That means the three day Metro subway link closure scheduled to end Monday is being extended. The entire system will remain closed for up to four weeks through March 11. As we uh, get repairs done, we will look to whether we can do partial reopenings of the system based on that rail replacement work being done. And we'll see how that goes as the repair work gets underway. Signs are going up advertising Metro Subway Link shuttles. The state is providing $2.2 million in emergency funding. 46 shuttle buses will be on the roads starting Monday morning. Two types of shuttle buses. One is an express bus, which will hit uh, start at Owings Mills and hit several stations on its way into the city. Uh, it'll hit about uh, six of our 14 stations, so it'll get folks in a little quicker. And then we'll also have a local shuttle bus that will hit each station on the way down into the city. In a statement, Mayor Catherine Pugh thanked Governor Larry Hogan for the shuttle bus funding, adding, this situation provides another glaring reminder of the needs for critical infrastructure investment. And I will be urging the state to examine the transportation infrastructure needs of the city of Baltimore and surrounding jurisdictions and align our budget priorities accordingly. While the closure is inconvenient, MTA Administrator Kevin Quinn says it's necessary. We completely understand the inconvenience of it. That said, safety is priority number one for us, and we don't take any risks with our passengers' lives. And so uh, we needed to uh, close the system down, get this rail replaced so that we have the safest system possible. And we're back out here live. So again, metro stations will remain closed for up to four weeks. As for those shuttle buses, they will be free for you to ride. And the MTA plans to have transit ambassadors at key metro stations starting Monday morning. We're live tonight in West Baltimore. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.